Each and every day we make choices that affect our lives. And the choice to get out of bed in the morning, the choice of what clothes to wear, and the choice of what foods to eat. Each one of these decisions can have a significant impact on who we are and who we will become. But we constantly forget that it's the ability to make a choice, not the choice itself, that gives us power. Hello, my name is John Anderson, and I'd like to introduce you to the rest of 5Y, the team that has worked together and put together Subway's 2018 campaign. Hi, I'm Tiffany Mangione. Hi, I'm Casey Silverman. Hi, I'm Kirby Kendall. Hi, I'm Liz Slipper. Hi, I'm Madeline Kevin, and we are 5Y. Welcome, and thank you for being here today. Over the past four months, while working on the Subway campaign, we've come to understand just how important having a choice really is. The challenge given to us by Subway was to grow sales as well as refresh the brand's image to help them stand out from their competition. Specifically, Subway seeks to raise its 2018 sales back to a 2014 level by the end of December of 2018. Also, Subway seeks to change the brand transformation, new digital initiatives, and innovation. In order to understand and execute our goals, we really truly needed to understand the industry and where Subway falls against its competitors. Subway lands within the sandwich shop market and was a clear category <coughs> originator. Unfortunately, a lot of other competitors have been entering this market, such as Jimmy John's, Jersey Mike's, and Chipotle, which has been significantly decreasing Subway's market share. In addition, there has been a national increase in health-conscious consumers who are seeking convenient, healthy dining options. Almost all Subway's competitors now are advertising the health benefits of their products and are generally seen as more transparent and honest about these claims. They're also operating and engaging with their followers on social media at a much higher level. However, Subway does have an advantage in the area of customization because they offer a greater variety of ingredients and choices. So in our primary research, we decided to take a look at 18 to 29 year olds and 30 to 49 year olds because in our secondary research, we saw some differences in their purchasing behavior and we really wanted to learn more about them. And this primary research fuels every part of this campaign, so we took it very seriously. Our research garnered 243 survey responses and 24 face-to-face -face interviews. Our research then led us to develop four key consumer insights. At 5Y, we strive to base all of our decisions on our consumers' personality and needs, and this is why our insights drove our entire 2018 campaign. First, we found that variety and customization was important to both target demographics, the older and the younger audience. This is because it allowed them to tailor their meal to their preference of taste and their own definition of what they thought healthy really was. Next, younger consumers have extremely high expectations of brands. When brands don't deliver on the promises that they tell their consumers, the, young, the younger consumers will easily abandon this brand. Meanwhile, older consumers are more rational about these brands. We also found that the younger audience was more adventurous and consequently less brand -like. Uh, so this also made them more likely to have visited Subway's competitors in the past. However, the older target demographic was a little bit more habitual and they tend to stick with restaurants that they know. Finally, these consumers have different relationships with food based on how often they cook at home. Younger consumers cook less and therefore seek out their healthy options at restaurants, while older consumers cook more at home and use these restaurants as a way to break their cooking routines. So choosing the right audience be the difference between success and failure for a campaign. So we really analyzed all of our insights and all of our research before we picked an audience for Subway's 2018 campaign. And we really wanted to find an audience that had a large opportunity for success and profitability. So introducing Subway's 2018 target audience to help the young adult. They are 18 to 29 years old, health conscious. They seek quality and value honest, transparent brands. They are a highly individualistic group that enjoys expressing themselves. And there are an estimated 12.5 million healthy young adults in the United States. So there were four key reasons we chose the healthy young adult as the target for Subway's campaign. The first being that 18 to 29 year olds as an age group were slowly moving away from the brand. They're trying competition and Subway was one of their least preferred restaurants. So we knew we had to address this trend now before we saw any further losses of this market. Next, Subway's health benefits can satisfy an important need for this audience if the brand communicates honestly. Also, we know that this audience desires value and convenience, and these are already key components of Subway's brand, so we're already winning with this audience on those two fronts. And fourth, this audience represents the best opportunity to grow market share. In a crowded industry, pulling the healthy young adult away from the competition will increase market share for Subway. So, with our audience in mind, we began to create campaign objectives based on the obstacles we knew we had to overcome with the healthy young adult. 
The first of these was our primary marketing objective given to us by the client, and that was to raise sales back to the 2014 level by the end of 2018. Our first advertising objective is to redefine Subway as a more honest and transparent brand in relation to health. This is key to connecting with our target, and we can't be effective unless they believe in the brand. Also, we wanted to create an objective based on preference, because as we said, this audience has a low preference for Subway, so we want to raise that by the end of 2018. We also knew that increasing store traffic is key to increasing sales. So in our 2018 campaign, we will increase the number of healthy adults who have recently visited Subway. Also, our final objective was to increase engagement because we saw other competitors engaging more frequently and more effectively. So we're going to raise in-person and online engagement for the brand by the end of 2018. After establishing our campaign objectives, we tested six different concepts. Our top concepts were customization using control over the meal, you don't need to sacrifice nutrition for convenience, and with so many options, you can always create a new experience. We decided to combine our two, top two concepts because they were seen as the most believable amongst our target audience. And respondents indicated that they both they both saw the consumer need. After combining the two winning concepts, we went ahead and were able to make our positioning statement. Our positioning statement is: Subway allows a healthy young adult to express their individuality and create healthy, personalized meals by offering the largest variety of ingredient options, as well as being honest and transparent about their nutritional benefits. Not only was this a combination of the two winning concepts, but this highlighted three key insights that we found in our campaign, individuality, variety, and transparency. With branding and positioning in mind, Five Wine made three unique creative concepts. These were all tested against Subway's current advertising, and they, we wanted to stay away from a spokesperson since it did not fare well with Subway before. The first concept we were able to test and decided to test was your perfect meal to make waiting. This concept was based on the meal as a reflection of the consumer's identity. Second, we decided to test ingredients that taste as good as they feel, which focuses on the ingredients themselves as well as the taste and quality of them. And finally, the choice is yours, which was based on individuals making choices at Subway that allowed them to make their own meals unique to them. After analyzing our results, the choice is yours was seen as the most believable, likable, unique, and relatable. It was effective at conveying health, taste, and increasing the likelihood of purchase. And with a strong creative, creative strategy in mind, we were we were able to begin developing our 2018 Subway campaign. So now we're proud to present the Choice Campaign. People make choices every day, whether it be what they wear, eat, and do. All the choices made in a day allow them all the choices made in a day allow them to express their self-identity and their individuality. The Choice Campaign was inspired by the power of individuality and the opportunity to let the healthy young adult express themselves through the choices they make at Subway. With the Choice Campaign, subs are made for you, by you. This campaign will highlight this big idea by featuring relatable people that the healthy young adults can resonate with and narratives they can see themselves in. This will also show all the healthy options customers can use to create a new experience every time they visit Subway. Customers will be encouraged to use uh, the hashtag Subway My Way to share their uh, specialty name sub. The hashtag Subway, Subway My Way is not only a great way to interact with our audience, but also to boost engagement. With the hashtag Subway My Way being incorporated across all digital platforms, we're able to let them express what they've created as well as search for new combinations as well. So let's say you love the flatbread. You may name your sub the Funky Flatbread. Or what if you always get the turkey at Subway? Your sub may be called the Twisted Turkey. You decide. With this hashtag, we're showing that there are endless possibilities with the power of choice. After creating our campaign, we then started to begin crafting our media strategy. We believe that it's important to reach our audience throughout the day using a continuous stream of media content. We will do this by utilizing traditional and non-traditional media, and we will use the $75 million budget in the southeast region of the United States. So picture this. The healthy adult wakes up to begin their day. What are they, the first thing that they're doing? Checking social media. We decided to use social media and allocate the largest amount of the budget to social media because it's the most effective way to reach the target market. We know this because 76% of social media users are within our target audience. These posts will be both timed and targeted to fit into their lifestyle, and $40.9 million will be used for social media throughout the calendar year. Here's an example of individuality, transparency, and variety being used across social media. First, by simply labeling the ingredients on these posts, and second, by giving them an option to name their own combination or sub. Like, for example, the matcha marinara created for Daniel by Daniel. Within our media strategy, we will also utilize health and fitness category influencers. Two examples of the influencers are Lynn Lowe's and BJ Adore. They are highly regarded in the fitness world and have a strong following. 
because our target audience is both health conscious and extremely active on social media, they will be more likely influenced by these fitness bloggers. When the healthy young adult comes home from either work or school, they begin to unwind with television. And this is where the Choice Campaign will appear yet again. The reason we will be utilizing television within our media strategy is because we will be able to effectively reach 91% of our target audience an average of 11 times. Television is also a great media type to use engaging sights and sounds in order to connect with our target audience. We will be utilizing $13.5 million throughout our campaign year within television. 5Y wanted to use storytelling on television to show like-minded individuals incorporating Subway into their everyday lives. Through these 30 second TV spots, choices are being shown, and in the end, all the choices on television through these commercials lead to Subway. Here, we're going to have an example of a storyboard of a TV spot we call Dave's Day. Leftovers. 
We then see them making their own sub individually with different ingredients, showcasing that they can make a sub that's true to themselves. While the majority of our campaign is seasonal, the microsite will have a constant presence throughout the year. This microsite could be a standalone website incorporated into many social media platforms or even through the subway app. It will be an interactive quiz that will boost engagement. So as you can see, it will ask first ask meat or veggies and take the viewer through a, a choice of their preference on a sub. It will then lead them to the closest it will then like show a suggestion of a sub and lead them to the closest subway location. This is not this is not only personal and engaging, but it highlights customization individuality through the use of customization and it shows the health benefits of subway. Here is our final 2018 media budget for the Choice Campaign. Our 12-month pulsing media plan will utilize $67,500,000, with the remaining 10% allocated toward a contingency fund. Our largest portion of spending, as you can see, is within social media, especially Facebook. Our second largest portion of spending will be in television to continue that continuous media stream of content. In order to ensure the success of our campaign, it's important that we follow the progress of it throughout the year. So, since we have a target market that's so heavily involved in social media, the main tool we're going to use here is social listening. This will allow us to follow the conversation on social media and see how our target's reacting to the conversation and some way campaign. Second of all, we're going to introduce four strategically timed subway, so four strategically timed surveys that are going to give us more quantitative information and it's also going to allow us to make any tweaks or corrections throughout the year. And finally, we're also going to monitor sales and we're going to monitor traffic through the website, microsite, and a store, which will give us more direct uh, representation of how we're doing. In conclusion, we feel this campaign will be effective at reaching all of our objectives and increasing Subway's sales because every decision we've made and we've shown you here today was influenced by a deep understanding of who our customer is. This understanding is reflected in our uh, creative messaging that focuses on consumer needs, our seasonal creative that touches on important trends in their life, our constant stream media plan, which reaches them where they are, when they're there, and our enhanced audience engagement. So we want to thank you for being here with us today. We hope you've enjoyed Subway's 5Y, Subway's Choice Campaign presented by 5Y. Thank you very much.